What do you do when you run a business that depends on events and all the events are canceled? This happened to a local company as soon as the state shut down. Linique lost all of its contracts to supply linens. But News 5 photojournalist Dave Colobine learned Lanique found a unique way to stay open and serve essential workers at the same time. We are a linen rental business. We started in 1998 in my house with my partner Deidre Dockman. This is our inventory. We specialize in tablecloths and chair covers for the event industry. We have a 16,000 square foot warehouse. We were on schedule to have the best year ever. We were really excited, gearing up for a lot of very large events with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductions were, were happening. But when the governor spoke and we learned how serious this pandemic was, Literally within 24 hours, every order in March canceled, every order in April, you know, May, then it went into June. We couldn't believe the amount of cancellations. It was a very difficult time. We realized there was absolutely no way to save our business. That events, you can't have a wedding or a gala for 10 people. We had to lay off over 32 employees. We were looking at China, we were looking at people in other countries, they were all wearing masks. And at that time, it wasn't very cool here to wear masks, you know? Nobody thought that this was gonna be a thing, that we were gonna wear these every day. Within the first week, I started to get calls from friends of mine who are nurses and doctors. This is a crazy idea, but I think you should make masks. We just started to make sample after sample and got connected with the Cleveland Clinic. And from there, we started to make masks for businesses that were currently open. They were essential businesses. Some of them work in manufacturing and school systems that needed these right away. We just kept getting phone calls after phone calls because nobody could find masks. Huge orders. Our first order was 1,500. Our next order was 300 and then 900. This was just full blown. We went right into production mode. We've been doing it for over six weeks, 24 seven. We have seamstresses who work here on in our warehouse as well as about five or so that work at their homes. We worked harder and more hours than, than in our regular business. We're excited to be a part of this and to be able to help other businesses. The future of our business is definitely up in the air. I think we're gonna be doing masks for quite some time. We're staying positive and I really think good things are gonna come out of this and um, we're not gonna let this get us down, that's for sure.